Hey guys, today we're talking about a fragrance from the house of La La Beau. Well, it's from their city exclusive line and the fragrance is called Prong 23. So in this video here, I'm gonna tell you about my performance, how I feel about it, and if I'm gonna buy a bottle or not. So please stay tuned. Before the video starts, I'd like to thank the people that support the channel. I'll post your name on the screen here. If you'd like to support the channel by um, adding one of the perks to your account, definitely link down below. And I also offer two samples as well. Um, if you sign up for the perks, I'll leave all the information down below. They were talking about Pong 23. So it is a city exclusive from La La Bo. If you're unfamiliar with the brand, La La Bo is a fragrance brand. And basically they have a fragrance note, right? Or a name of a fragrance. And then they'll have certain ingredients in the fragrance, whether it's 22 notes, 36, four, nine, so on and so forth. This is city exclusive. So you only can buy these fragrances in their cities or states or wherever they're located around the world. Prong 23, I have it here. This is a London city exclusive. So I post on the screen here. I've been to London two times in my life. I've been with my ex-girlfriend a couple years ago and me and Kelly went a couple years ago as well. So it's a beautiful place. I love going in that country. If I could afford it, I would live there permanently. I love it there. People are so beautiful. A different atmosphere than it is in America. I don't want to go too far into the government kind of stuff. I'm just saying I really enjoy the place there and I love visiting there a lot. I love their fish and chips. I love them to death. I love trying new fragrances there. They get them before we get them. Nevertheless, this fragrance here, um, this is your city exclusive, so you can buy it in London or in the months of August and September every year. You can actually buy samples like this or you can buy the actual full bottle, the 50 mil, 100 mil, so on and so forth. It's gonna run about $365 for 50 ml and 400 mil is gonna run you $515. These bottles are refillable, so if you empty out your bottle, you can refill your bottle, take it to a local Lelabo boutique, and they'll have the city exclusive that you purchased in stock, but you can only refill that one city exclusive. You can't go there and ask for a Mantra 26. You can't go to ask for Guy at 10. It's only the fragrance that you emptied out your, your bottle of. Okay, so let's spread on test strip. Our bottle is almost half empty, my sample, and I'll tell you why in a minute, all right? So I post notes on the screen. You guys see a note breakdown. Here we go. Oh, it smells so good, guys. Let me tell you why it smells so good. So this is where it opens up. You're getting some pepper. You're getting some latinum. You're getting a slight bit of incense. You're getting some vanilla. Definitely getting some uh, guyac wood, some sandalwood. This fragrance smells awesome. If you like spicy fragrances, if you like pepper, you're going to like fragrances like this. This is one where if you don't like the smell of peppers or spicy, you're not gonna like this fragrance here. This is a different type of fragrance. This is one where you're gonna stand out. A lot of people like this fragrance when I wore it out in public, which is funny because you would think fragrances that have pepper, spicy, vanilla might be a little off-putting for some people because of the spiciness in it. Um, I don't think it's gonna make you sneeze or anybody running or sneeze, but maybe if you overspray it, it might be. But this fragrance smells amazing. Kelly likes it well. She gave it an eight, an eight out of 10. It's pretty good. Now, this fragrance, keeps that spiciness and pepperish through the life of the fragrance. But in the middle of the fragrance, you're picking up more of the vanilla in the fragrance. Now, the vanilla in the fragrance is gorgeous. Like the vanilla is very nicely put, well smooth. It's not overly sweet, but it's enough sweetness in it where it's not going to be offensive or sticky or coin. It's enough blended spices and vanilla and peppery where it's gonna smell amazing off you. This is one I could see anybody really picking up and spraying it. Now, I would say more of a masculine side because of the pepper, the latimum, the incense. But I could see a woman wearing I could see Kelly wearing as well. Now, it might, she might get more vanilla on her skin and I get more incense and pepper on my skin, depending on your skin chemistry. Everybody's skin chemistry is different, plus your diet, your hygiene, so on and so forth. Everybody's skin is different. One person might smell this way. Another person might smell this way might smell good on one person and bad on the other person. Now, there's another fragrance similar to this. There's two other fragrances. I have one here, which I'll talk about, but the other one is from the same house at Lila Beau. I would say it's Latham 18. Because if you like the note of Latham, it's in both the fragrances. There's no ifs and buts about it. You're gonna pick up that la the Latham feel in the fragrance and it's something close to it. But you're not getting the pepperiness. You're not getting the spices, the incense. You're not getting unless you get Prov 23. Now, another fragrance that comes close to which I have a full bottle of, so some people might think it's redundant, it's Le Leon by the House of Chanel. This has latimum, patchouli, and vanilla. So it has some of the same components as Prom 23, but 
I feel like this one here is more of a beast mode heavy in your face. Now, Prong 23 is a little bit more subdued, not as heavy beast mode, but it's a nice moderate projection where people can catch wild stuff. It. This one here is nuclear beast mode almost. Like when I spray three sprays, this could fill up room real quickly. This batch is a older batch that I got from Chanel when it first came out. They do have newer versions, a little more fresher. This is a little bit fresh, but it has that latimum. It's very um, vanilla, latimum, creamy. Definitely getting a little bit of smokiness in here coming from the patchouli. But this one here is amazing, guys. Um, so I don't have a full bottle, but I will tell you my experience from wearing it. Easy got eight hours of longevity on my skin. I probably got nine or ten, but I kind of just washed it off at the eight hour mark. It's enough for me. Projection is good for the first, I would say, two hours or so. Nice moderate projection. About a half an hour left where people can catch lots of it. They're going to smell the fragrance. Now, it's not a beast mode scent, but once you spray it on, people are going to smell your fragrance. And I haven't found one person, um, knock on wood, that did not like the fragrance. Everybody liked it. I think the problem was the price point at 365 was a lot for anybody to bear. And I get that. Lilla bows are exclusive for a reason. It's a city exclusive. So at least, at least I know if I buy a bottle, nobody's going to smell like me. Unless you buy a clone of it. That's pretty much it. I'm saying so. This is one definitely in the months of August, September, buy yourself a sample. It's only gonna cost you about 13 bucks for a 1.5 mil sample and try it out and see if it works for your skin. If it does, you can buy yourself a full bottle and they are refillable. So what's nice is if you empty your bottle out, you wanna make it your signature scent, that's cool. You can refill your bottle anytime at a boutique. You don't have to worry about waiting until September, October to buy another bottle. This one here is amazing. For me, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. It's amazing, I like it for three seasons out the year, Spring, fall, and winter. I think summer might be too quaint. I think a lot of people should definitely check out the whole house of Lilla Bo. Um, if you guys try it for the house, leave your comment down below. My other favorite, which I'm talking about, probably tomorrow or the next day, whenever I upload a video, it'll be Gayak 10. Gayak 10 is another amazing Gayak. It's fresh, it's airy type of scent. If you guys try that fragrance, let me know down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next one. Peace.